Hello guys. So we're getting ready to install the antenna for my Yeso and Comscray was heavily at work there I see. So now I'm gonna drill a hole in the roof of my car, another one. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Yeah. It's gonna be this tricky little thing here. Very nice. And this drill bit and I'll get drilling. So we managed to get the hole drilled. <laughs> Yeah, the so we had a minor problem, but uh, everything should be all right now. We improvised, we adapted, and overcame. We overcame. Uh, so it actually fits underneath the underneath right, here and here. underneath here. Or, uh, huh? Go ahead, video this. Yeah, I'm in, okay, I am. Putting a little bit of silicone grease in the bracket there. Yeah. And then there'll be a gasket that goes in there and we'll put more grease on it. And that'll give you your weather tight seal. That's what they say. Worked fine, lasts a long time. <laughs> yeah, the rubber seal is in the bag here, I think. Or what? So we're going to get it started on the nut here, first, and then we actually use the nut to make sure it's seated, seated properly in the hole. This is a cool mount. Cooler than this one. <laughs> and that's it. If uh, you got a pair of channel locks or a wrench, you just give that a little... little i got a... Uh... A wrench, just so maybe. A yeah, just a second. <laughs> moisture will be an issue here. <laughs> stick that over the hole like that. Put that down all the way around. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's good. Now, with my clean figure, I'm going to make sure there's nothing on that tip. <laughs> I'll wipe my hands off my pocket. We just run it on there. Yeah. Ah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this nice silicone. Far better than the one I screwed up on my car. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing it never happens to the customer. Yeah, but it's nice. And it's not that big actually. For your audiences with the white cars, yeah. you definitely want to get some compressed air or something soft to knock those filings off because if you're anywhere with this humidity or it rains, you'll come back in an hour and there'll be little red dots everywhere where it rusted. Yeah. So when this is all done, you want to find a way of, without a, causing abrasion to get those drill filings off the car. Okay guys, this is the comms prepper on the Moscow Preppers channel. And we finished his mobile radio install here in his bug out vehicle. And we set up his Yesu amateur radio here with the simplex repeater. So we're going to do a little demo here out of the, the off site location, uh, kind of showing how you can use a simplex repeater with a good mobile antenna to make your vehicle a repeater and operate away from that vehicle. So I'll do a quick transmission here so you can see what's happening here. I'm using another radio of Lars here. So I'm going to transmit in. The vehicle, of course, is going to receive it to the ASU. The audio is going to come out of the microphone jack here into the simplex repeater. Be digitally recorded. When I end my transmission, the simplex repeater will activate the transmitter and play that message back out over the air and we'll pick it up on this handheld. So we'll go ahead and do a test now. This is Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform, testing the simplex repeater. One, two, three, four, five. Charlie Uniform, testing the simplex repeater. One, two, three, four, five. 
So what we'll do here is uh, we're going to leave this set up in the vehicle and we're going to walk down the road and we'll leave the compound here and take a little walk and we'll actually transmit back and you'll hear this repeater kick up so he can leave this vehicle parked someplace so like, let's say it goes to yeah. the new winter camp yeah. leave the vehicle out on the street and then be able to communicate back to his QTH or his home or anywhere else in his operating area and use the vehicle as the actual repeater location to keep it all secure and then operate with his handheld. Like a small mobile repeater station. There you go. So we'll pause here and we're going to go for a yeah. little walk. So now we're at the Moscow River and we're going to make a test transmission again. And we got the uh, Midland radio on the two meter amateur radio band. So now we're going to call back to the ASU radio set up in Moscow Prepper's vehicle. This is Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform, testing the Simplex repeater. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform, testing the Simplex repeater. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pretty cool. That works. We like it. What are 500 meters or something? Yeah. Maybe more? Yeah, a good 10 minute walk away from the vehicle. We got yeah. out here, walked down to the river. Left the vehicle back at the off-site location, and it seems to work. So, basically, using that simplex repeater out of the vehicle, you've increased your effective range by double. Yeah. Because you have coverage, a complete circle around the vehicle. So from one end to the other, <clears throat> it's a, a pretty effective, pretty effective tool to have, and not a bad capability for your emergency planning. No. It's quite cool. A nice setup too, but you can of course have several radios running on it, right? Right, so anywhere in that circle you could have these radios. So if you have a retreat location or a yeah. campsite or a hunting camp, you could centrally stage that simplex repeater, uh, more altitude the better, and greatly increase the range of your handheld radio communications equipment rather than relying on point-to-point -point or line-of-sight yeah. simplex communications. And it's pretty cheap, that ADS SR1 Simplex repeater is, I think, around $98. And 10 bucks, you can buy a cable made for your specific radio if you don't feel like making one yourself. Yeah, cool. So, that's a little test of the Simplex repeater. Quite nice. There's like absolutely no distortion on it compared to being right next to the car, right? Right. And it shows that your antenna's working well, too. <laughs> yeah, that's just... <laughs> 